everybody welcome back to the channel okay so what I'm going to do is just set up um, the next video you're about to see which is uh, essentially to do with the Linkwitz LX521 build so in this video I'm going to talk about the um, the rather good quality wire that we used in wiring the baffle up I'm also going to talk about the way I wind the wire up and uh, and then show you the installation of the wire through the, the baffle itself and show you and explain to you the way that uh, I wire the tweeters up which is the standard way that Linkwitz um, do it but I'll hopefully make it clear to you uh, in this video uh, what I did and how I did it. So uh, this is the next video in the uh, LX521 build video series so I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'm sort of uh, sitting here in the middle of Manila at the moment in our apartment. I think it's time that we drop this video. There's lots of stuff coming up too, I might add, with um, uh, uh, some of the sh things I plan to bring you while I'm in Manila. But all of those things are taking a process that um, isn't happening quickly. But I will be bringing you one of the most, um, or probably the top dealer in Manila. Uh, and in the Philippines, They're, he's just renovated uh, his showroom and listening room. So I'll be sh uh, showing you footage of that toward the end of my time here in the Philippines. And uh, you'll see that on the channel uh, the moment I have it uh, recorded and shot. So uh, until then, please sit back, enjoy this video. This talks, as I say, again about the things I've just mentioned on the LX521. And we'll talk soon. G'day everybody, welcome back. Um, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the upgraded hookup wire that we're putting in this uh, baffle. So the the cable that I've ordered that I'm using here is a military spec cable, so it's a really, really high quality um, hookup cable. It's um, 18 gauge for the uh, upper and lower mid range, and that's uh, a, a piece of wire. So we've got two pieces of wire here, which I think you can see. Um, it is OCC copper that is silver plated. So that is with a PTFT dielectric around the, as an insulator. So it's slippery and typically Teflon feeling. So what we'll do is I'll show you how I wind this wire up and the way I do it, uh, and, and put it in the speaker. So that's the, that is the the 16 gauge and then the uh the one we've got the the, the uh, 20 gauge here so it is really really fine wire it's all it's all conductor essentially in the in the actual wire itself so there's a longer piece of the two so what i'll do is, is i'll set this up in the vice and i'll show you what i do uh to run this wire through the the baffle okay so here we go so we get both of these uh, conductors and we just put them in the vice so about maybe about an inch or so in like so then I get a little paddle pop stick like this and then around the end of it again about as far as we want the wire to come back I'll give it a little twist like this um, you can see that so that's what I've done there and then I just basically wind the wire up and continue to wind it up like this the reason I do it this way is because I can feel the strain on the wire by doing it by hand like this. So I, I, I sort of get an idea as to, you know, the shape or how much, you know, uh, twist I want in the wire. And I'm also feeling the resistance on the end of this paddle pop stick. So I sort of roughly know where I want to be on this and, and how far to go. And I'm feeling like I'm getting close so I can really sort of feel that I'm getting a grip and then of course it'll release a little bit and we undo the vise like so and then we have our conductor wire there and we've got a lovely little twist on the wire here and then up this end we just straighten those two out again and we are essentially one down in the process and we'll do the others so that's our our lower mid-range it being the shorter of the of the three wires um, and then the next one will be the upper mid-range. So again, the same spec wire, 
Uh, I'll put these all through now, do them, and then show you the end result. Okay, so here we go. So there, here is the um, the lower mid range. Then the next longest one along here is the is the upper the upper mid range, and then the longest one is and it's slightly different color you can see between the 20 gauge and the 16 gauge the 20 gauge is a little redder i don't know if that shows up on the on the camera or not whereas the 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 these two are are um a little uh, orange in the in the trace wire um and uh, the longer ones the 20 gauge wires red and black and then up up the top here we've got Obviously, another red tweeter wire here that runs down the bridge, and these two are the 16 gauge uh, upper and lower mid range, and they will be the ones that will also run along the bridge down to the binding posts at the um, at the end of the bridge. And we'll show you all that as I wire everything up. But there you go; that's all the wiring all wound up and ready to be installed into the baffles. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, attempt to run some tweeter wiring up first. Um, so a good way to do this, we're going through this hole here in the, which I'll show you. Um, this hole here, in there, that runs out through here. And then it'll run around the channel here and come out that hole there and run around so out of that hole there, and it'll run around its channel up into the feed for the tweeters at the top here. So if I plonk this down somewhere where hopefully you can see what I'm doing, uh, what I'll do is I'll put a little kick on the wire like that for starter, just so I can get a, get a start on it. And then we'll just feed those through. And then hopefully, being PTFT too, it's quite, see, so there they go. We can see them through there. So we'll run all this up like so and leave ourselves enough room so then it's just a matter of bending this wire and and feeding it through with our fingers because it is a solid core wire so it, it is compliant what we'll then do is we get hold of the ends of these again and slide them up through the next hole which hopefully you can see all this happening. So there we go, that goes through there. So then we just run this wiring through, and tuck it in, so and bend it just into the recessed area that we have here. And I'm just making sure that I've got all the right lengths as far as the bend go. And then we'll bend back around here, because of course we need to get around the, the upper mid range. And then, once we get a start on that, we'll slide the wiring straight up through there, so past the first chamber of the tweeter. I'll we'll slide this back this way a bit, you might be able to see this a bit better. Hopefully we can get all the way up through here. No, it's not going to allow us to. So I'll just tilt the camera up a bit so you can see what's happening here. So we're through the first the first area here and we just need to pop up through the next tweeter area and sure enough there we are we are through so then we'll just once again we make sure we've got our length right around our bends here which i think we are pretty close to being right throughout everywhere and uh, we have a, t a tweeter wire passing through here that which we can pull back down. And if we spin around at the back here, you can see the wires are all the way through to the top tweeter at the reverse. So that is essentially the first one done. And we're, we're happy with the bends here. So I'll just move through and do the others and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, so here we are. Everything is wired through the top baffle, so we've got the, um, the the tweeter wire here, this one, and the two mid-range wires here and here. And you can see them how they run. We've got so from here, obviously, in the back, we've got the 
the base or the lower mid-range wiring. We have the upper mid-range wiring. We have the backfiring tweeter this way. Um, and you can see how the wires run around, you know, in their respective channels through here and then around through here. All of this is all milled out by um, our uh, people that did the uh, engineering on all of this beautiful baffle so that we could hire or hide all the wiring. And then we stand the baffle up have a look from the front you can obviously see the back wires for the back tweeter there's plenty of wire space there and we've got the the front firing tweeter which we'll put in there again uh, upper mid-range lower mid-range there and then of course the as you can see the wires sitting there on the back um, you know ready to be hooked up to the distribution block so that is the next phase of this the next thing we'll start doing is uh, we'll mount some drivers in. So stay tuned for that one. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Here we go. Just to give you an idea of what's happening here. This is the front firing tweeter. So uh, up from inside there, you'll see the positive wire that runs over to the positive terminal there, which I've wired up. And then the negative terminal as you can see there, that wire runs through here and picks up, let's just spin this around so we can see it. So we've got, essentially we've got two black wires coming from to the rear tweeter, but I'll, I'll explain this again. So positive wire that comes up from the bottom of the speaker through here goes in, goes on to the positive terminal. There's a, an, an, a, a negative wire or another piece of this, um, this wire, which you can see there's the positive side of it. I've cut two pieces off. I'm keeping the positive aside. We don't use that. But the black uh, wire, we pick up the negative side of the forward-facing tweeter. And then if we come around here to look at the back here, that negative wire runs along to the rear-firing tweeter and it goes on to the negative side of that tweeter. The positive side of that tweeter which is of course out of phase, goes to the, which is the actual negative wire, which runs around here um, and, and uh, goes up through, through the back here uh, and around over here. Now I've put a piece of uh, red heat shrink on this so that if we're ever pulling tweeters out or, and, I'm, and I'm not there, Paul will know which wire belongs to the positive trace here, which is essentially the negative wire that runs down the back here and, and through. And we just pick the two negatives up uh, of the tweeters with a, a bridging wire, so to speak, which runs from here through there and comes out and goes around the other side there. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Positive on the front, a negative pickup wire on the, on the negative side for the front firing. We hook that negative wire again up to the negative wire on the rear firing tweeter and the negative wire from down the bottom comes up. We put a little positive heat shrink, red bit of heat shrink on there just so that we know what's going on. And that goes to, of course, you can see there the positive uh, side of the rear firing tweeter. And that's what we've got. So that's the tweeters done.